15 Things You Didn't Know About Macaulay Culkin Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, thanks for spending some time with us today for another original video presented by Alux.com. He became a household name by the age of 10 and is still making headlines today. We're talking about Macaulay Culkin. Culkin was born August 26, 1980 in New York and is the son of a well-known Broadway actor Christopher Cornelius Culkin and Patricia Brentrup. He started acting when he was four years old, when he appeared in stage productions at the New York Philharmonic. Rising to huge success in only six years is an achievement even for professional actors, so you can imagine how impressive it is for a boy to do it so fast. Age 10, he was acclaimed internationally as the blockbuster Home Alone was released. However, all of that glam would be nothing without controversy, drugs, scandals, suspicious friendships, and even high-profile relationships have great Culkin's life. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, let's cut to the chase, shall we? Here are 15 things you didn't know about Macaulay Culkin. Number 1. Culkin's childhood was not as happy as one would imagine. When his family was short on money, little Macaulay and his siblings were encouraged to give acting a shot. As director Billy Hopkins pointed out, the boy just had it, which was later on proven by his impressive successes. But is trading your childhood for fame a good idea? It did not seem so for our boy Wonder, yet he was not given much of a choice, as his father Kit was managing his career, and knowing how demanding this one was, he was unable to make it stop no matter how much he wanted it to. There seems to be no rest for the gifted, and this boy was a gold mine. Number 2. Family Issues and Heartache when he was 15, his parents separated and his mother filed for custody of him and his minor siblings, accusing Christopher Culkin of excessive drinking and domestic violence. McCully lived with his mother afterwards, and his connection with his father faded over time. However, the biggest loss in McCully's life was the death of his sister Dakota, who was struck and killed by a car in Los Angeles. As this occurred, the Culkin family spokesperson, Michelle Bega, declared that this was a terrible tragic accident and that the family did not want to comment any further. It seemed at the time that McCully's life was prone to tragedy, and some even called him cursed. Number 3. A Tight Controversial Friendship with Michael Jackson Macaulay Culkin made an appearance in Michael Jackson's black and white music video, and it was around that time that the boy and the pop legend developed a close relationship. The two spent a lot of time together, especially when Culkin visited Jackson's Neverland Ranch. When allegations regarding child sexual abuse involving Michael Jackson came to light, speculations pointed to Culkin as being one of the victims, along with Brett Barnes and Wade Robson. He declared that he considered such allegations to be absolutely ridiculous, and that he never seen Jackson do anything inappropriate. He maintained this position when he had to testify at Jackson's trial when he was 24, when he also explained that he had slept at Jackson's ranch more than a dozen times, but nothing ever occurred, neither to him or to the boys in his presence. Number 4. A Solid Friendship with Michael Jackson's Family Proof of the strength of Culkin's friendship with Michael Jackson is the fact that he is the godfather of two of Jackson's children, Prince Michael and Paris. It is a well-known fact that even after Michael Jackson's death and burial, which he attended on September 3, 2009, Culkin maintained a close relationship with the celebrity's family. It's so nice to see him having fun with the Jacksons still, like he did for example in June of 2017, when he and Paris got matching tattoos, or when she gave him a pedicure. All adventures you can follow on their Instagram accounts. Number 5. He got married when he was 17. Culkin met actress Rachel Miner when they were both 14 years old. Her first impression of him was anything but a good one because he didn't feel the need to introduce himself, perhaps a little young star arrogance, but it didn't seem to matter that much since they ended up together. The two got married on June 21, 1998 in a secret location to avoid the prying lenses of the paparazzi. What is even more interesting, though, is the way the two proceeded. They informed guests of the location using a bizarre scavenger hunt to find the ceremony. Their guests had to go to a hotel, and it was only there they could be given the coordinates of the home in which the picnic-like ceremony was being held. Number 6. Macaulay Culkin Dated Actress Mila Kunis 
Culkin's teenage dream marriage lasted far less than forever as they separated in 2000 and divorced in 2002. He began dating actress Mila Kunis in 2002 while she was still starring in That 70s Show. The two had a wonderful long-term relationship that they tried to keep as private as possible. Mila Kunis spoke on several occasions about how difficult it was for them to keep away from the paparazzi, saying that Culkin was constantly hounded by them, adding they could hardly walk down the street without someone screaming out his name. The two continued their relationship even after Mila left Culkin in New York to pursue acting in L.A. On January 3, 2011, Kunis's publicist confirmed the couple had ended their relationship amicably about several months before. Pretty soon, Mila Kunis will be getting her very own Alux video, so stay tuned. Number 7. Rumor has it, Culkin has a type. Little was known about Culkin's love life after his breakup with beautiful Mila, until he was seen in Paris with a new sweetheart in 2013. The woman we're talking about is Jordan Lane Price, best known for portraying Celia in All My Children. She is petite and brunette, just like Kunis, making people speculate he wasn't quite over the starlet and went for a rebound with a lookalike. Or perhaps that's just the kind of girl he's attracted to. His latest love interest, Brenda Song, could lend some truth to that. Number 8. Culkin the Writer Talk about being multi-talented. Culkin had his first book, Junior, published in 2006, but is typically pretty modest when he speaks about it. It started with people wanting him to write a memoir, and so he did. Sort of. The book's subject is a rocky relationship between a son and his father, and includes sketches, poems, as well as short stories. Culkin said on several occasions that his name shouldn't even be on the cover of the book. He never took pride in it, insisting it was nothing but a meta-artifact of celebrity. But you know what, Aluxers? If you've checked out his book, we'd love to know what you thought about it. Let us know down in the comments. Number 9. Culkin was a part of the Pizza Underground the Pizza Underground is a comedy rock band that parodied the Velvet Underground songs with pizza-themed songs. Their thing was giving out boxed pizzas to those attending their live performances. The band's fame originates from a viral video of Mac Culkin eating pizza, sort of parodying Andy Warhol consuming a Burger King Whopper in the documentary 66 Scenes from America, and this stunt is how he announced the birth of his band. But it seemed the project was more about hype than it was about showmanship. Case in point, their performance at the Rock City venue in Nottingham, England in May of 2014. They left the stage within 15 minutes of starting their set, and in response, people started throwing pints of beer at the band. Number 10. Drug Issues in 2013, the public became worried about Macaulay Culkin's health, as a photo of him looking pale and emaciated was published online and in tabloids. There was suspicion that his health was in decline due to substance abuse issues, and rumors even started to spread that he was close to death. Once again, he rejected the idea of having a drug problem, but even if he did, what's so surprising? The road to fame is paved with excess, and the younger you go down that road, typically the more struggles you face. If you're interested, you can check out our video, 10 Famous People Ruined by Drugs, to see the dark places the road to fame can lead you. Number 11. Culkin was arrested. In 2004, at 24 years old, Culkin was arrested on drug charges. During a traffic stop in Oklahoma City, the police searched his car and found 17.3 grams of marijuana as well as Xanax pills. According to the report, the pills were in a clear plastic bag that Culkin pulled out of his front pocket, and the arresting officer also found six rolled marijuana joints and two small burnt cigarettes in a silver cigarette case. He was arrested but released afterwards, after paying $4,000 in bonds. He left Oklahoma City and no public statement was ever made, neither by him nor his publicist. However, during an interview on Larry King Live, Culkin publicly acknowledged he used drugs and consumed alcohol, pointing out that he never had a problem. Do you trust his word? Because we're not totally sure. Number 12. Macaulay Culkin has agoraphobia. As we tried to point out throughout this video, it's clear by now that Culkin's fame is impressive, and we know how hard he's been trying to keep a low profile. However, the large amount of people adoring him, as well as the paparazzi being out to get him, would be more than enough to cause you to desperately seek out privacy. Culkin admitted to suffering from agoraphobia, which is an extreme or irrational fear of crowded spaces or enclosed public places. 
We know this might ruin part of his charming mystery, but becoming famous at such an early age clearly has its downsides. Number 13. He was the target of a death hoax. It's all fun and games until you hear your favorite movie actor is dead, right? Celebrity death hoaxes go viral almost instantly, so of course someone would target Culkin. He was rumored to have died in 2014. Everyone freaked out, but fortunately he responded promptly and in an epic way. He posted a photo on Twitter of himself with his eyes closed, playing dead while reenacting a scene from the film Weekend at Bernie's. Also, since he was on tour with his band at the time of the hoax, he opened their Austin, Texas show by yelling, I'm alive. Number 14. He looks clean and healthy as we tell this story. Ever since he appeared at the New York Comic Con in 2013, Culkin has reportedly stayed clean, is out of trouble, and doing well. His girlfriend is believed to have helped him get rid of his heroin addiction, and according to some sources, she's made it clear to him that if he starts using again, she's going to walk away. Recent photos of him also show improvement in terms of weight gain, self-care, and maybe, who knows, even peace of mind. We only wish the best to our Home Alone star boy. Number 15. He's among the highest paid child actors. We know Mac lived a modest life prior to his one-of-a-kind Home Alone performance, but what we talk less about is how valuable he proved to be. He's the first child actor to receive $1 million for a single movie, which in turn led to a legal battle between his parents as to what to do with the money. Nowadays, his estimated net worth is up to $15 million, which is not that much if we were to compare his success from more than 25 years ago. But it's good enough, considering Culkin retired from acting a long time ago, only appearing in small roles from time to time. So, there you have it, Alexers. Now that you've learned some more about Macaulay Culkin, we'd like to know, do you think he should make a big return to acting? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. The Wrong Ferrari. Have you ever heard of this Adam Green movie shot entirely on an iPhone camera? It's a surreal film that was shot in several locations. Anyway, we're telling you about the controversial project because Macaulay Culkin appeared in it as himself. Why don't you check it out and let us know what you think? Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.